In this video, we're going to continue our configuration of the Palo Alto and we're going to configure our Ethernet interfaces or more specifically our layer three interfaces. Layer three interfaces, uh, if you're familiar with the OSI layer, basically means it, they have IP addresses. And when they have IP addresses, that means that they can begin to route objects as well as filter based on IP and uh, lay other layer three aspects. So before we get into that, uh, let's take a quick look at our diagram. Oops. Uh, the last video, uh, we talked about creating zones. So I went ahead and I created a servers zone, a DMZ zone, and then an internet zone. I believe I called it uh, untrusted. And there are interfaces attached to each of these. Specifically, we have um, see, I believe this is Ethernet uh, 1 slash 3, this is Ethernet 1 slash 1, and then this is Ethernet 1 slash 2. Uh, how do I know that? Well, because I documented it ahead of time. Uh, more specifically, boom, there we go. Uh, Ethernet 1, 1, 1, 2, and 1, 3. The remaining interfaces, they are there, but they are not being used. Okay, so I've got my interfaces, I've got my IP addresses, as well as the network slash zone that I will assign them to. So let's take it from there. Jump onto our Palo Alto. Uh, you can see there I just finished creating the zones. Uh, so still on the network tab on the left hand side, I'm now going to choose interfaces. And there's all my interfaces of one through nine. They by default all show with a link state of down. There may actually be a link on the devices, but it's showing as down because there's no configurations of any type. In fact, the interface type is completely blank, so there's no way for it to know whether there should be something there or not. So let's go ahead and configure our first interface. I'm just going to click on where it says Ethernet 1.1. One, one. Uh, interface name, yep, not a problem. Interface type, I want to change this to layer 3. Uh, you'll notice when I changed it to layer three, my tabs here changed as well as my options. First thing I want to do right down here is I want to change the security zone. So I'll change the security zone. See, Ethernet 1.1 was going to be my ISP. So that means untrusted. Uh, IPv4, I now want to configure an IP address. I can configure static, PPoE, which would be very unusual but not unheard of and DHCP. In this case my ISP is giving me a static IP address. I could go ahead and I could type it in here 203.113.20 slash 24. It's important to include the slash 24 in there. I could do this and it would work. The only problem with this is that this IP address means nothing to me. Uh, and in fact, I'm going to have other IP addresses in that range. And so I don't really, I won't recall six months from now what the dot 20 is as opposed to dot 21. So what I actually want to do, let me go ahead and I want to click this right here. It says new address. So bring up the new address wizard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this um, something that's more descriptive. So I'm going to just say pa dash uh, internet. That is somewhat more descriptive to me. And then go ahead and type in the IP address 203.0.113.20 slash 24. Okay. And now it has the name instead of the IP address. It's exactly the same thing, just a name instead of an IP. And now we can see layer three. Uh, and once I click commit here, the link state will eventually turn into green and then we'll begin to work. All right, I'll actually close that and then we'll configure one, two and one, three while we're at it. See one, two is my server. So let's go ahead and change the network or interface type to layer three. Uh, security zone is going to be servers, IPv4, add. Again, I could type in the IP address I'm just going to say new IP and I'm going to call it PA-Servers to specify this as being on my servers network and my IP 
one dot one slash twenty four. Okay. And then same thing for uh, one dash three interface type layer three security zone it's going to be DMZ I just did that backwards didn't I um, maybe one three is the DMZ my notes say one three is the DMZ so I'll go with that PA dash DMZ 192.168.50.1 slash 24 and OK and OK and I'll go ahead and click commit and then I'll close the window and really quickly mention uh, Ethernet 1.3 we committed that previously uh, the link state is now green and it is good to go security zone is listed over on the right hand side all right, so in the prior video, we talked about creating the security zones, and in this one, we went ahead and configured our layer three or Ethernet interfaces.